and gentlemen welcome again to channel 48 thank you for tuning in uh, yeah yesterday's video I removed it because there were some things that I did not like in the video so in this video I'm gonna show you spark OS for those that did not see the video yesterday um, spark OS 13.1 by Nemix for the Redmi 7a For those that have the Redmi 7A, well, you should know how to get into a recovery mode already. And the best thing to do is format data. Oops. Yes. Confirm with yes. And then reboot back into a recovery mode. And then we're gonna go ahead and first update our twerp. I already did that. You do that by installing the image that I have on my drive here, I think. Yeah, you can see it. This is the image that you can download from, from uh, twerp.me. This is official twerp for the Pine. Okay, it's for the Mi 439. So you must look for Mi 439 at uh, twerp.me and then just install it as a recovery image swipe reboot back into recovery and you're gonna have 3.7 i already did so so i don't have to do it again all right so the rom that we're gonna install after we did the format of the data is spark 13.1 unofficial i showed it yesterday some of you already saw the video uh, if you're gonna select it and you're gonna swipe you're gonna get the error one and yeah why that is i don't know but how to fix that go back to the home page of twerp okay and then simply select advanced and then terminal and in terminal type uh, capital m i and then 439 so we're gonna tell the terminal that this is a 439 device and then we can go ahead and install spark i'm not gonna go for the one with gaps because the one with gaps is giving all all sorts of lines uh, that uh yeah um, the developer will have to look into so i'm just gonna go for this one and as you can see it did not boot first it gives error one and now it's booting successfully at least booting it's installing successfully and it will as well boot successfully because i already installed this rom okay android version is 13 spark os version is 13.1 that was as well wrongly uh, uh, titled yesterday in the video it was saying android 13.1 there is no 13.1 android yet so yeah all sorts of little mistakes in the video from yesterday so i wanted to remake it and i could understand why some people did not like it because it was as well very very long 28 minutes so yeah i removed it it didn't look good if i make a video especially a video about my friend's work it must be a good video not a noobish video was way too noobish i didn't know the room i played a bit with it now and now i kind of can show you certain things that you can do with this room and that you cannot do with other rooms i all i as, as well um, found out that it was a very speedy room maybe that's why i called it world's fastest room that is as well not a good title for a room you know, I might embarrass my friend and I didn't want to do so. But the ROM is very, very, very speedy. Okay, it's a very, very lovely ROM. Very special ROM. So we're gonna wipe catch and Dalvik and then we're gonna reboot back into the system. And then we're gonna take a look at a real-time boot I think it should have enough power to boot there we go it's 
parkways and the moment the screen will get like just a bit darker and that moment is now and then in three two one boom you see that and then you just installed spark os 13.1 peeps yeah well not to confuse with android 13 it's 13 and not 13.1 so yesterday i showed you that um yeah that the FM radio worked, that you could make phone calls, okay? That's the first thing that you want to, you want to test if you install a ROM. As you can see, the phone rings very nicely. Um, we see a little icon there, black icon saying apps. I will show you soon what that is. Uh, camera etc works you cannot see no camera from here because it's closed but uh, if you're gonna put it on a selfie it works fine and as well the video works good I tested it and yeah it works it works very nice um, in this room, we as well have an FM radio that works without, without having to put in no headphone. Stations that are in the neighborhood will play fine. FM. Okay, so that works very nice, as you could see. Um, gallery, game optimizer, or game space. I don't know what this is, but you can check that out. If you're a gamer, I think you will have benefits out of that. Um, we as well have no browser, but you can get that very easily. So what I'm first gonna do, I'm gonna connect to the internet. Okay guys, we are connected. Um, why did I connect to the internet? Because what I'm gonna show you now is how you can get Google applications onto this phone without having to go and download them. Uh, we have a little uh, apps icon there. And if you look in it, you can see that we can install certain things such as the google play store we hit install it will say that it depends on google services and google play services i mean framework and services we say install all and here you can see it's being installed can you see that the progress line Downloaded successfully. It's now downloading the Google Play services. 99 megabytes. Downloaded successfully. Pending. Installing, you see that? And we just installed GAPS. So now GAPS is installed and only thing that you need to do is sign in to your account and then you'll be good to go. So yeah, 
that the gaps version is not working um, yeah that is not such a pity because this version lets you install gaps really easy so i really love that that there i like it it's uh, exclusive and nice um about display yeah of course dark theme and there are some nice goodies that i saw the fireworks here you can check out your themes that you want to install icon shape navbar style main menu layout user cards name it look at all these customizations that you can go through this is really amazing they are so much that i will just leave them for what they are uh, lock screen weather surfaces settings lock screen clock style spark circle and name it all these things that you can do status bar clock left or in the middle it's just the way you want it logo boom 4g icon battery style circle text hidden landscape hey that one did not change landscape left Now, yeah, there are many things that you can do, okay? I will not go through all of them, otherwise this video is going to get a very long video again, and I don't want that. In uh, privacy, you can, of course, set up your permissions, and in security, you can go ahead and set up your password, screen lock, pin, pattern, whatever you wish, okay? Um yeah so that's it i think this is a very good rom yeah but you must let us know um but i think it's yeah for what i saw these last uh, uh 24 hours it's it's a good rom it's very it's, it's a very nice rom okay i never saw a rom like this before uh and i think this this will be the new way of how people can get their gaps so they don't have to go and search for it and ask for it this is how to present your gaps oh yeah uh, the wallpapers wow these guys they have very nice wallpapers as well let me show that really fast before we're gonna end this video change wallpaper yesterday i, I did not even show them all these are the spark wall wallpapers Oh man, these are the Spark wallpapers, and then we have um, the Space wallpapers, as well, nice. And we have the Strange Dimensions, those I showed yesterday already for those that saw the video. And of course the unsplash as well, beautiful pictures and elementary. Look at that, beautiful wallpapers. So it's up to you what you want to install. I like this one, the blue one I like, it looks good. So yeah, peeps, that's it. In fact, um, I think you will find even more uh, cool stuff in this room. Uh, especially in the teams part and uh, yeah the tweaks that you can do here you have some utilities as well you can set up this room exactly the way you would love to see it nice work and uh, yeah thanks so much to of course cafe babe for uh, for the sources and the trees um, Nemix for creating the room and there was one more tester that you will see in the description well, that was it for the pine uh 
Nemix, thank you. Cafe Babe, thank you. And all that tested, etc. And uh, yeah, promote the ROM as well, thank you. XDA thread will be created soon, I think. So Nemix, let me know when you're gonna do that. And for the rest, I wish you a, a very nice time with Spark OS 13.1.